Hey guys, welcome back to Exploring Temecula. Today's video, we're gonna talk about five things you can do in wine country that don't involve drinking. Uh, I've mentioned it a few times that, you know, wine country is a very beautiful area and even if you are not the wine drinker, it's still nice to go out there and experience the rolling hills, uh, you know, the pretty views. Uh, we do these videos often to keep you updated on what to do in Temecula and the surrounding area and also the housing market. So uh, make sure you subscribe if you're interested in buying or selling real estate, we're here to help you. Uh, we are licensed as both a brokerage and a real estate appraisal company. Uh, so whatever you need, uh, we can help you with. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing, hot air balloon rides. Uh, they go year round, usually uh, you know, start either in the morning, at night. Uh, these balloon rides, you have options. They do hold, I think, up to around 15 people, but you can also rent them privately. Uh, and you get to see things like the 5,000 acres of protected citrus in Temecula, the rolling hills, the, uh, you know, the vineyards. These are all going to be pointed out to you. You're gonna get a, a, a guide that will, uh, you know, just give you a sort of a tour from a bird's eye view of the landscape of the Temecula Valley and some of, uh, you know, the things that Temecula Valley might be a little more famous for. Uh, I will have uh, a link in the description that will bring you to the blog post in it, and it will give you some of the companies that uh, you can look into to do these balloon rides. Uh, I'm not gonna just name them all here, um, but yeah, go to the website and check those out. And definitely one of the things, in my opinion, that if you're not afraid of heights, do this uh, and great for an anniversary, great for a birthday, uh, and it's a really great way to spend a couple hours in wine country. Okay, so next up, horse riding tours. Uh, they're gonna take you, again, either sunrise, sunset, uh, the horses are very gentle, don't worry about, uh, you know, you don't have to have riding experience to actually go on these. And there are options, you are going to have, you know, stops at wineries if you would like, if you want to drink wine. So yes, you can drink and ride. Uh, and I know this video is about things not, uh, that doesn't involve wine, but there is an option. If you want to have some wine, uh, you know, while you're riding horses, you're uh, welcome to do that. Now, second, uh, similar to the balloon uh, companies, I'm going to put a couple companies in the blog post that you can call, do your own research on, and if horse riding for a couple hours is something that interests you in, in uh, the Temecula Valley, uh, check these out. You'll have a lot of fun and uh, it's a great experience. Okay, next up would be a great idea if you have kids. It's called Sugar Plum Zoo and Chocolates, and it's basically a petting zoo in wine country. Uh, you just go there, there's gelato, uh, you know, you can pet all sorts of different types of animals. Uh, you can go at your own leisure. It's a very fun afternoon, and again, I strongly recommend if, if you have kids, this is something that I specifically would do with them. Uh, tickets are reasonable. I think it's around $10 for adults, $5 for children. Okay guys, next up, hiking. Uh, Temecula Valley has tons of hikes, tons of hiking trails, uh, you know, from easy to hard camping, views, uh, you know, not gonna get into individual ones because there's so many of them. What I am going to say is download the All Trails app and then you can sift through the different areas of Temecula, the different trails of Temecula Valley, and you know, depending on how long they are, how many miles, how many hours it takes, the how the uh, you know how hard the trail is, it, it will filter out all of these things for you. Okay, so next up, spend the day at a pool or a spa uh, or both. Uh, two wineries that do allow you to do this or do have these amenities are Botaye, I think is how you pronounce it, and South Coast Winery. Uh, if you want more of the spa. Uh, type of day, South Coast Winery, but Botaye, and we've actually spent a day here, uh, has a restaurant, uh, you know, the pool is very nice with nice views. I think you rent the, you know, the, 
the day out and it could be anywhere from 30 to 40 dollars but you can go there spend the day at the pool uh, i do think they have changing rooms a lot of bathrooms so it just makes it very convenient uh, and something different to do for the day especially we get into july august september the weather gets up to 100 110 degrees uh, obviously this would be something that you can plan during those times so there you have it guys just a few examples quick examples of things you can do in wine country that do not involve drinking of course some of them you can add some wine to your excursion but you don't you do not have to uh, until next time and thank you very much from exploring temecula